Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications when I post something new. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and or a comment. For today, I wanted to share the coffin that I made for the um, Paper Crafts and Swaps. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the name of the group. On Facebook, we were each to make a coffin following the tutorial by my crafting world, Anna, and I will link her video down below if you guys are interested in making one of these. Um, we were to fill the coffin with an edible treat, one store-bought item of $2 value, handmade embellishments from their favorite list. And then whatever goodies, extras that you wanted to put in there to fill it up. So I'm going to go over what I did while I made the box or how I made it. And then we'll fill it up and I'll show you piece by piece what we did or what I did. So I used a purple card stock and then I used paper, which this is very thin paper. It is from Park Lane. And it came from Joann's last year, I think. Um, I used a lot of the Witchy Vibe purple colors in there. And then to um, trim it, I used this. I have no idea what this is called. And I got this for like 25 cents at a yard sale. But I thought the colors kind of go with the purplish theme that was going on. So what I did here is I just took my scissors and I cut this like fishnet part off. And then after cutting that off, I used that underneath here just to make it like an extra texture, extra, I, I don't know how to explain it. I added it to make it pretty. And then for this gold underneath here, it's this, I have no idea what this is called. I got this also from a garage sale. Super cheap. And so I trimmed underneath there. This came from the paper pack and it just says, don't let anyone steal your magic. And I thought that was cute because witchy vibe, magical, Halloween. This whole entire embellishment was gifted to me in Happy Mail last year or the year before and I thought it worked perfect for this the size this box and then for this I took a tassel and I put a um one of those finger ring things and then these little roses are actually the store-bought roses from Dollar Tree and when you get them like this piece is like laying out I don't have any more to show you but what I did is I hot glued them closed so that it looked cuter. And then I just used my stickles and went along the edges. I, that was my last black one and I only have two more white ones left. So I might just throw them in there and I don't know. So then for here, I used um, one of those sheets of paper that have like the cutouts, cut aparts. So I just did that all the way around the box. And then on the inside, I use this pattern on the lid and the bottom. And then there's another one with like potion bottles, tarot cards, all witchy vibed. Okay, so now I wanna pack it up. And I thought this would look cute cause it was like candy corn colors. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. And I like using this because you can flatten it down and put a lot of stuff in there. Like it doesn't take up a lot of room. And then I have this little felt skelly. I'm going to put him right there. I think he looks cute just like that. And then for my $2 value store-bought goodie is a sticker blingy sticker that says happy Halloween and then I have to fold it like that to fit in there because I cannot fit it this way I can't fit it 
like it just it won't fit so I fold it put it like that I'll have to fix it but and then I have this um pin I was gifted like a whole pack of these probably two or three years ago and I still have probably six more left I don't know I'd have to count them I've been giving these away like almost every year okay so I'm going to put this in there as an extra. I made a bunch of these um, for another embellishment swap and I just thought that I would make extra and good thing I did because now I got an extra goodie to put in the box. So this is actually a seven day pill organizer. And you can take fair enough polish and it takes the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um, thing off. But as you can see, it's too big. It won't fit. So I actually took, I opened up one and then I cut this down with a pair of plastic cutters. I, I have no idea wire cutters maybe. I'm not sure what these are called. I used to work at a... Um, plastics factory and this is what we used in there and I've had these ever since but I just cut it cut the whole section off so now it holds six instead of seven and then she likes to do shakers so I'm sending her a little shaker mix and we'll just drop that in there on the side oh, wait put it over that way some Dove chocolate, edible goodie. Let's see, how did I fit this in there before? Okay. And then because she likes the shakers, that's what my handmade embellishments are for her likes list. So I made coffin shakers to go in a coffin. And at first I put this like shimmer black cardstock, which you really couldn't see. Like it, the trick in the treat part, it was like just washed out and you couldn't see what it said. So I used a puffy paint, which is just a puffy paint is just a fabric paint. And I kind of drew over it with that. I should have used, um, Nouveau because I think it would have made a cl more clear straight line because yeah but I think it still turned out pretty cute so here's two of the little orange roses that I had made and then these were gifted to me in the um embellishment box swap that I did and they're actually rings so I just took those and hot glued it on there and then this is like a trim that had, uh, what do you call it? Like a wire trim. Let's see if I can find it. I have an orange one. So this is a wire trim and it's just like this. I just cut the trim on the edge. I think that one was thicker though. And then I cut it down the middle and used it for my um, shaker tag. So I'm sending her two of those. We're going to put this in there. There we go. Now it's going. Okay. And then one more shaker just for fun. Because why not? I made a little cauldron. I used a... um little what do you call those sequin mix ghosty oh no there's like a hair stuck in there oh no it's not a hair it's the way the, the little bubble looks so i used um for my bubbles i put um glossy accents over those to make them kind of look like they were wet i'll just put that in there like that and then pack it up and that's her her box i hope she likes it and thanks for watching bye bye